And wellity, wellity, welcome folks. Welcome back to Let's Play I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream. Now, last time we left off, we finished Goris' story, which is why he's not standing here anymore. And we're going to go on to the next story, which is Ellen's. Now, I should probably warn you up front that Ellen's story is a little, uh... Not safe for work, I should say. It deals with some very heavy themes. But a strong. Now, in the original story, Ellen, again, is the only female in the group, but she is very much dealt with contempt by the rest of them, by the rest of the men, who see her as very manipulative, doesn't really care about them, and it is very explicitly stated that she services them regularly, despite saying that she doesn't enjoy it or anything like that, and twisted her mind to go from what she claims herself to be a very, you know, a virginal girl, a virgin only twice removed, I believe is the quote used in the book. And it's explained that she has sex with the men quite often, including Benny, for certain reasons. Which I will explain when it gets to Benny's scenario. But in the, in the game, they do improve Ellen's character to be a little better, like the sex isn't mentioned. But she does get a much darker theme in terms of um, her own character, and in terms of her, like, her overarching theme. And, and she's definitely not the, uh, scum-sucking filth that Ted describes her as in the book. Oh yeah, it's also worth mentioning, in the book, Ted is the main narrator, the main focus of the story. But we'll get to that when it gets to his description and... Mission worth undertaking! So it brings me here. So it's some kind of junk pyramid. pyramid nowhere. And yellow. Always oh, yellow. Why does yellow make me sweat? Oh, we're gonna find out, Helen, and I really wish we wouldn't. So let's go inside the, py the pyramid. Snap, crackle, pop. Must be a glitch in the circuitry. Well, given the fact there's all this water around, and all things like that. One thing I don't really like about Ellen's scenario is that with Gorista, you could tell that he was very much a downtrodden man. He is a man who has been tortured for 109 years, but Ellen just seems a little too... Ha ha well, happy probably wouldn't be the better word, but a little too... Energetic. You son of a bitch, Am. You fixed it so I can barely touch the water with my fingertips. Now that's just mean. So let's walk to over here then, if we can't use the water. Very so we've got some computers. Just like the monitors in the security station at Ingsai Engineering. Yeah, Ellen in this version is a engineer, which is not mentioned in the book. So we've got ourselves some computer monitors. Let's uh, have a look at them. So look at the monitor. Each of these video Can we use the monitor? There we go. Here right, we got some kind of computer room. What the hell am I looking at? Could this be one of Anne's original components? I don't really know why Anne, no, no, why Ellen knows all of this. I mean, like, how does she know about original components? I mean, it's explained in the book by Gorister, which is almost told like a story to um, Benny uh, that he knows about what happened. But oh, I can only Anne assume that's because Anne diggers. told them what happened. As an interior decorator, kiddo, don't give up your day job. So yeah, there's a bit of an Egyptian theme going on in this level. So let's use this monitor then. Some kind of yellow cup room. The Holy Grail! And we only had to wipe out the entire human race and fall into the center of the world to find it. <laughs> Good question. How are you guys alive if it's the center of the earth? Surely you would have burst into flames. The same as me, because it's yellow. So can we use this monitor then? So the water. Sure, baby. Show me where I've just been. Show me the water I can't get to with my bare hands. And finally, what's this one? So there's the pyramid we're in. Yeah, okay, outside. Now what? So that's all of the things, but uh, what's this over here then? A bit of snap, crackle, and popping going. So we've got a wire here. Let's 
Thank goodness I was an electrical engineer. I managed to join the wires without frying myself. How to do that then? So now, if we look at this monitor, I believe. Each of these video monitors. Yep, come on. Oh, is it not that monitor? Sure, baby. No, Show not that me one. where I've just been. Show me the water I, I think can't we have to go outside to first. Hands. Okay, uh, walk this way. Where's the door gone? Uh, where's the door actually? There it is. I can't go any further without a drink. But I can't reach the water. I need. Oh, of course. So, yes, can we do anything with these bricks? What good will push. Now, what am I supposed to do with this? Mm, that's not any of those ones. I think I missed something in this room. Can we use this monitor? Nope, still says the, the same things. What am I looking at? Could this be one of Anne's original components? Hmm, what about... Push the monitor. Oh, we got a button. Didn't notice that before. There we go. That's what we wanted to see. Ooh, a secret passage. Oh my. Now why didn't you let me see that when I was there before, Am, you rat bastard? I can assume for several reasons. So let's have a look in here, just for... Have a check. Oh! oh I can't stay here. I gotta Some kind get of out. goat... Sphinx demon thing. That thing. Like a bad meal come to life. And the yellow. Why is everything so Speaking of bad meals, yellow? it's also a thing that's quite funny in the book is that um, so it's explained that the food so. that Anne gives them is meant to be like the worst possible food imaginable. Like he gives them like ropey worms and manna that apparently manna from heaven, which tastes like boiled goat urine or boiled boar urine. I think it is. Why on earth they would know what boiled boar urine looks like? I have no idea. But uh, so let's push these bricks. Want to know how much I don't want to go down there? Well, gonna have to. An Egyptian burial chamber? Oh, Am, you little dickens. As an interior decorator, kiddo, don't give up your day job. Given he can smite you with a fort, probably not best to tease the guy. So let's walk through here, ignoring the giant Anubis statue. Dry and musty and yellow for a change. No wonder they can't rent this place. Not even with a lovely spa upstairs. I don't think you understand the brevity of this situation. <laughs> now don't talk to it. Take it. So we take this yellow fabric. No, I can't. Gotta get out of here. Okay, yeah, this does happen. She does have a I panic attack panic. over the color yellow, which is explained so in the game, and uh, probably not gonna like the explanation. But uh, come on, we can take this fabric. I've got to face the yellow. So we got the fabric, and we can also take this, not the armaton. A little too big for us to take it out. Bolted to the table. Then again, given that we've shown that we can carry humans. So take these forceps. Yoink. And now, what we need to do is... Remember back in that room with the weird sphinx monster thing? Well, we need to go back in there, because if... We, we need to get the cup that's in that room. And the only way to do that is to blindfold ourselves. Something that we'll be doing quite a lot. Just the right size to use as a blindfold. If I'm gonna die, at least I won't see that sucker coming. So somehow we're also able to walk in a straight line with a blindfold on. Sphinx is gone. Don't hear him anywhere. Mutes the hell out of all the yellow, too. So... so is that big lover? Ellen goes by the idea of if I can't see it, it can't be real. I could have done this if I had to look that bloody beast in the eye. So we take our Glad fancy cup. off snoozing somewhere. Okay. Now that I got the cup, what do I do with it? What do you think? What's something to do with a big old bit of water? Okay, let's leave. And let's take off the blindfold. 
because you know we want to be able to see what we're doing. Okay, now use the cup with the water, and we can get ourselves a good drink. Just reaches. Now I can get a drink. Yeah. So let's swallow a cup of water. Yum 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 yum. Mm, that was great. Best champagne I ever had. I need another. And you'll get Yo, one. Cup. So use the cup with the water. Just. And swallow the cup. Even better. I'm gonna fill it up and take one for the road. Very good idea. Which is just what we're gonna do. Just reaches. Now I can get a drink. Okay, so now we've got our cup of water. We can walk down the passage again. Okay, so let's try and use the sarcophagus. It's locked. So, no UC of the sarcophagus. Is this, uh, can we talk to the statue? Or use the statue? Okay, it's not going to be used the keypad. Oh. Stand clear. So, Mr. Statue is alive, it seems. So, talk to him. Who are you? Who are you? I am Anubis, guardian of the dead. So, you're not going to let me take the keypad? The keypad. I must protect this tomb from all who would rob it. Well, we're not going to rob it, except for the cup that we stole. <laughs> I am not a grave robber. What purpose could you have here other than to steal something? Okay, you got me there. I won't steal anything. I just need to know if you can tell me where Anne's original brain components are. I only guard the souls of the dead. I know nothing of that which does not sing the song of the soul. The song of the soul. You'll never get laid with that line of stuff, Anubis. Take care of your own boring self. Bye now. But now we can do what we do to all robots and throw some water on them. Splash! The water shorted up the statue's circuitry. Water tends to do that. So now we can use the forceps on the statue. And yank out his chips. Mama Ellen, Ram chip. So yeah, yoink. Comes out easy. Must be reprogrammable. Either that or you're just very good at yanking things out. Okay, so now we need to keep on walking, ignoring the armatron. This could go on for centuries. Anne has all the time in the world. All the world in the world, as a matter of fact. And we never age. We never die. We Bit of a weird time to be now having your breakdown, after Ellen. After you, don't we, am you son of a bitch, demented god, you? Yeah, a bit of a ranting going on there. Now we need to use the blah, blah, blah. need to use the blindfold again so that we can take this. So we need to take that gem out of the statue, and we couldn't do that if uh, we didn't have the blindfold because of all the yellow. Uh -huh. This sapphire is loose. Gotta love a big sapphire. Okay, walk back to the passage. And we have computers! So, take off the blindfold. And now we can put this statue... not statue... We can use the gem with the left workstation, because the other two have gems. So, yoink! Absolutely! Glows like a baby doll. Pucker up, little workstation. Okay, so now it's... Uh, what can we do this with this workstation? workstation Ooh! Empty ROM chip socket built into the console. So I guess we can use our ROM chip on that. So use the ROM chip with the workstation. The little yellow ROM chip fits into the socket perfectly. Yay. So now use the computer. Snap. Tappity tappity tap tap tap. Okay, come on man, you gotta upgrade to vo version 2.0! That's where you get to change the choosable voices. I'll designate you a new master. I'll Me! You Screw a humanity! Master. So we got ourselves a reprogrammed ROM, re -programmed ROM chip. Very good. Uh, can we go through here? Oh, no. Whoa! I remember it was. Oh God! It hurts! It hurts! Yellow! It was a yellow, and it was closed in. I couldn't breathe, and the pain. Get me 
out of here! Another panic attack. I feel so ashamed. Yeah, um, I'm gonna leave that until next part, seeing as we're gonna have to do a bit of a lengthy conversation here. So, uh, so just head back to Anubis, uh, have some good friends, good time with our buddy there. Oh god, I just realized I did not take the ROM chip out of the computer. Back we go. I'm an idiot. Yes, yes, okay. Looks like, like a programming station. So it's. Yep, can we just use that? Oh, we just did that. Okay, so now take the ROM chip. I ain't gonna touch that yellow oh, ROM. Damn it. Use the forceps with the workstation. Get back our damn ROM chip. I haven't lost my touch. Pulled out the ROM chip without bending any of the contacts. Well, la dee da. Anybody think you work with computers? Okay, walk through the door. And let's head back to Mr. Anubis. And walking away, walking away, come on. Okay, now use the ROM chip with the new designation of a master in it on the statue. Here back we are. Where you belong, little ROM chip. So now Anubis is backing up. So now we can talk to him. So can you help me with anything? So, can you help me with anything? You cannot escape your fears. You can only confront them. Uh, come on, you gotta tell us something. So. You can. Uh. Okay, try and use the keypad then. So, random number. So, try 2006. I remember when my only concern was being on the fast track to becoming a $250,000 a year. Ooh, executive. I wouldn't mind that kind of money. Nothing's happening. Okay, so it's not that one. Try graduating. I, used to be so proud of graduating cum laude with degrees in both I still don't know what that means. Somebody in the comments tell me what cum laude means. Nothing's happening. Uh, a random number. This security keypad could have been set to any one of millions of possible combinations. Nothing's happening. So random numbers don't work, so let's now try and see if talking to Anubis can tell us what the password is. So, can you help me with anything? You cannot miss You're not really telling me much here. Can we use the, the sarcophagus now? It's locked. Now can you tell us? So you You're not really helping me here, Anubis. Uh, do we need to talk to the other computers? Better if something we gotta do here. Okay, try using the other computers then. Okay, we don't have a CD, so we can use that. Or this one. Top database station. I remember. Invalid password. Okay, so it's not that one. I used to be. Invalid. Don't. The workstation. Invalid. God damn it. Okay, well, uh, now let's try talking to Anubis. Maybe now he'll tell us something. Okay, now can you tell us the password? Because he needs to tell us the password. After all, he's the one that knows it. So you can. God darn it! Uh, maybe now we can use the keypad. No, nothing new there. Uh. I think we have to leave it here for now, folks, in terms of what we need to do exactly. Uh, I will see you next time, and I will figure out what exactly needs to be going on here. Uh, I'm Grandmaster Scott A. This is Have I, I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream, and I thank you so very, very much for watching. Ad-e-us.